How's it going? It's Ethan with HustlePaintball.com, and this is the brand new GOG Enemy. Some of the more notable features besides the low price are that it's got a bolt out the back body design, it's got very, very low maintenance, and we're being told that it's got incredible efficiency. We're going to test that in just a second. I think the most notable feature is that it's got a lifetime warranty on the drivetrain. Doesn't include things like O rings, but all the major components, if you ever have any issues ever, they got you covered. That's a big deal. Other than that, it's got a single trigger frame as you can see. It's got a 45 style design. I think that's the most comfortable. I found that this gun is extremely comfortable. Got durable stainless steel braided hose. The inline regulator allows for easy velocity adjustment. It is also standard threaded at the top, so you can remove it and put on an aftermarket one if you so prefer. Ion threaded barrel. Uh, you know, I guess it's one of the things we got to live with. Most GOG guns and like DLX guns are going to come with ion threads. I wish they'd just switch over to autococker, but it is what it is. A very durable clamping feed neck. It's not a toolless clamping feed neck, but for the price, what do you really expect? Uh, it's made out of GRN, glass reinforced nylon, as is the trigger frame and some of the other major components. So it can be lightweight, but very, very strong. The body design, the body shell is removable. You can put on different colored shells for not a whole lot of money. It gives you a lot of color options, once again, without breaking the bank. The bolt out body design, I think is fantastic. You can easily get to all the internals. The maintenance is very, very simple and it's easy to get to. So the combination one, two punch right there means that you're never gonna have a problem maintaining your gun. Now the trigger frame, um, incorporates a uh, adjustable spring on the inside so you can have adjustable trigger tension which does allow uh, for you to play with that trigger a little bit more. It's very short and very light, very very satisfying. It's not the most tri uh, crisp trigger pull but it is very satisfying. Uh, one of the other cool things about it is that you can run CO2 on this. Even if liquid CO2 gets inside the gun all you need to do is clear the liquid CO2 out and you're good to go. Now let's take this outside see how well she does on the efficiency rig. As you can see, we're at 4515 PSI. This is a Ninja 6845, die rotor, GOG enemy. Let's begin. We'll start out with a ball hauler full of 500 rounds. 279, 269, 280, 275. Pretty decently consistent. Warm up my finger, this is gonna be a long one. We're at 133 PSI, 10 more rounds. 258, 256. We're down around 230 feet per second. At 105 PSI, 223 feet per second, I'd say that's about it. But this bad boy got about 1,050 shots, no problems. Now, as you saw, we got about 1,000 shots off our 6845. GOG suggested that we could have gotten 14, 1,500, or possibly even more shots out of a CO2 tank, but I kind of think that's not the proper way to test efficiency, simply because on a very warm day, you can get ridiculous amounts of shots out of a CO2 tank versus a cold day. I think the proper way is to do it with using compressed air. In a 6845, getting a thousand shots out of a spool valve design marker, that's a good number. That's one you can take to the bank. Now let's move on to maintenance. First, remove the barrel. Of course, we have no hopper, no paint. The breech is clear. Let's be smart here. Move the back cap using our 5 sixteenths Allen wrench. And pull out the bolt assembly. It may be necessary to reach into the breech and push out the bolt assembly from the front. But as you can see, that is very easy. This design doesn't have a whole lot of O-rings on it, and they are very high quality. Another thing that's going to make maintenance very simple. As always, start by wiping off all the old greaser oil, any grime. Of course, if there's any paint residue, get everything off. The key to a well-functioning, happy paintball gun is that your gun is spotless on the inside with fresh lube. Wipe this all off, then grab proper grease. 
Now, GOG does recommend their rebranded Dow 33 grease, which is fine, but Pathogen Super Grease just happens to be better, significantly better regardless of what gun you have that needs grease. Chances are if your grease is Bob's Discount Blue Grease or any colored garbage grease, throw that crap away, get some proper grease because your gun will thank you. Good grease, a little bit goes a long way. Start by greasing all the O-rings. If you're unsure about where to grease your gun, these O-rings are all sealing points. The bolt does travel, and as the O-rings travel with it, it'll redistribute the grease properly. Very simple, wipe off the old, in with the new, put it back in the gun, and then we can go outside and we can shoot some more stuff. Well, here we are, We've got a Ninja tank and a rotor on it, fully loaded up. Trigger's nice and crisp, it's a lot of fun. There's not a whole lot of kick. As you can see, it's pretty consistent, even though we're using some old paint. Busted up our target. Oh. I can kind of get on this, even though it's a manual gun. Really doesn't move around a whole lot when you're shooting it. What? Nailed it, it came back. What do you want to get out of your paintball gun? Now I know most people prefer less expensive versus more expensive, and I know everyone out there wants their stuff to be at least somewhat unique. The overall design of this is somewhat rare. It is a mechanical spool valve marker, so you're not going to see too many out there, and because it's got a slower rate of fire, it's going to make your shots and your kills much more exciting. This gun has a little bit of character right out of the box. Now, if you have any other questions, just email us, videos at hustlepaintball.com. Of course, you guys know to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If your buddies haven't, go beat them over the head. Make them do it as well. We get a lot of cool videos coming your way. Like us on Facebook, read our blog, follow us on Twitter, go to hustlepaintball.com. We've got that gun, all the gear you're looking for, and finally, go to pbright.com, sign up for the forums. We're all there. A bunch of cool people are there. We want to talk with you and hang out. Thanks again for watching, guys. See you soon. Now, as you saw, we got a thing. Gravity does still work in the studio, hey, apparently. Shut up. Ha, ha, ha.